develop an inside game. Lewis, high arcing shot, Harris tips it in. First points of the game for Robert Harris, who has averaged nearly 19. It's whenever you double and triple team and all five guys must rebound, and right now they're not getting there. Purdue has his shot blocked by Harris and a foul on Purdue. I see, well, Purdue right now is a little frustrated, uh, but that's okay. Here, here we have a Purdue trying to help out as he got lost on a pick situation that time. That opened up Robert Parrish to get in there for that uh, uncontested rebound. A lot of pressure on Ames with Bird out. He's their only outside shooter. Parrish goes right in and scores. That's what he's been doing all year, and that's why he's as good as anyone. He's Double on McHale. Tipping all over the court. Ames with another three attempts. Parrish. Forget it. Basket counts and a foul. Robert Parrish. And they're not blocking out Chicago. Well, it's difficult to block out whenever you're running double and triple teams at people on either side of the lane. Now you see, he cut them off without any body contact because he forced them to elevate out too far. Parrish strong to the hoop. Robert Parrish with nine points now good because they're trying to match up due to the fact that the Celtics have Paxson in the backcourt with Dennis Johnson. Oh, oh. Turn around, lands on the floor. He was elbowed in the chest before.